Team D&D here. We are here with our Albuquerque AGO candidate, Janet Enriquez. You, I mean, you have an amazing room, of course. Like, there's, there are so many things in here. Like, when did you start collecting? At, at what point? Like, what's your first piece? I started off when I was four years old with Sailor Moon, as like all the other little girls. But when I really started collecting was in middle school, and it was with Inuyasha. And that's what really got me into collecting everything and getting into anime manga and in more, getting more deeper into it that you like to the culture and the language and everything just how long did it take you to gather all of this collection five years five years <laughs> indeed and this kitty where did it come from i also like to watch some j dramas it's kind of like basically anime it's just like you know with live action so oh, oh you know i think i'm familiar with that kind of thing and mm. they have like the pretty boys and all the drama yes, yes. And, uh, those are lots of fun yeah I see that you have a lot of magazines. So it's like this specific kind of doll look where um, a girl has dyed hair and, you know, contact lens and the blush and she's just very young looking. I'm really into Ayumi Hamasaki, the J-pop queen. I like, I love the way she always looks. Like she looks like doll-like, really pretty. Yeah. She's already 31 years old and she looks like she's like, 17 so Whoa. yeah I noticed that you have you know something like I would say is very similar to like this kind of this kind of look like I mean I really like your makeup so oh, did you did, were you kind of inspired by this like the the pretty girl actress well that's a funny question because it started off first with um uh, visual K. Oh, visual K. Yeah. Oh, nice. I was like uh, really oh, into uh, it. Just so. for people that don't know if you could just explain what visual K is. Okay uh, visual K is like your pretty boy bands, but like, they're, well usually they call them like, they refer to them as girls, but I was like, no, they're just really pretty. And yeah, like, you know, I collected tons and tons of those magazines and I was like, I wanna, like, my favorite one was Hizaki from Versailles. Mm -hmm. And um, like, I loved his makeup, so yeah, that's where the, I actually got that idea. Now in your video, you made a very, very cutie cutie, but very squeaky voice. Is there a way you can repeat that for us here? You want me to make a really squeaky voice? Yes, ma'am. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, what do you want me to say? Something cute. Uh, Your favorite anime quote? Yes. Um, Skinny kawate o shokyo. Oh, yes. <laughs> also in your video, you did some great panel artwork that I saw. If you could please show me the panel artwork again. Now, these look like you cut them out and put them together. Like, I've never seen panels done that way before. <laughs> Okay, that one's about my friends. I was kind of basically making fun of my friend because she always gets bad grades. Do you feel like you want to do anything in the comics industry or the art yes. industry? Yes, <laughs> I wanted, um, uh, like, I guess graphic designing. Um, mm -hmm. But then, like, I'm really interested in, like, becoming a novelist as well. Are you involved in, like, you know, live journal or fanfiction.net, like, typical, like, fan places to hang out? Well, I, will, I read the fan fiction from, you know, um, Quizilla, but I read them. I, I don't write mm -hmm. like fan fiction, but like I write my own stories. Original characters. Yeah, original characters, names, storyline, everything. That. Is that what makes you America's greatest otaku? I hope so. <laughs> I think so. So once again, we are here with the Albuquerque AGO candidate, Janet Enriquez. Janet, thank you again so much for inviting us into your wonderful, wonderful room. Thank you guys. <laughs>